is the mess that I am faced with today. And I'll show you the progress as it comes. I'm going to completely reorganize and maybe keep it from getting to this state of disarray again. Okay, so it's been about an hour, maybe a little more. Can't really tell a whole lot of progress in it because I've got piles that I need to deal with. But you can start to see the floor. You can see pieces of the bed. Um, this is all dirty clothes. This closet here looks a lot better. It's organized. Um, up here at the top is like all the bags and hats and makeup. Mm. And dresser's cleared off some. And this closet's looking much better than it was. Um, but I'll give, come back when we're done and I will give you a layout of where I, how I organize things and where things went and how this is going to keep her organized. Okay, so the room is done. Yay! And it only took all day long. It is almost two o'clock and time for me to go get the kids from school. But I want to give you a quick look really quick at how the bedroom turned out. So this is the closet. We have blankets in the top and extra bins in case she needs them. This is where her play clothes go. And then she has this cubby organizer that she can fill with things as she decides she needs. Um, shoes, well boots. Her she has one, two, three sets of cowboy boots over there, and then her skates, and then those are her stuffed animals in the back. Minnie says hi. The floor is as clean as it's going to come. Um, the dresser um, on top, we just have a few little things, little things she painted. I think from Hobby Lobby, her piggy banks, and a picture of her, and then her TV. She has her mirror and um, her cross hanging at the top. Her top drawer of her dresser is DVDs books and a hairbrush and a few little odds and ends things in there the second drawer is more books bubble gum baby doll sock um apron post-it notes and a pen so um that's the kind of thing she has in here this is her pajama play drawer so pajama pants pajama tops and Play outfits. Bottom drawer is her school. Um, I try not to get a lot of clothes for them, especially this year. This year we are really toning it down. So we have um, leggings and jeans and then tops in there. And then this is her other closet. Um, this is the only bedroom besides the master that has two closets. Um, at the top, these bags over here are makeup, her cowboy hats, her luggage, another makeup bin, her canvases that she's painted, and then some extra tins. Um, some shoes, like play outside shoes, and these are a pair of boots, and then three other kind of slip-on shoes. Then at the bottom is purses, etch-a-sketch, camera case. This is a dry erase board with pictures that needs to be hung up. Her bingo set, a few little odd and end toys, her soccer balls, and then her hair um, dryer, curling iron, straightener is all in there. She is a tween. She's 10, almost 11. So then we have these, this cubby organizer that I actually found in the baby section at Walmart. And it, um, will be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday is a free day where she doesn't have to have it approved. This top drawer here is underwear and bras. Bottom is socks, headbands, and belts, like makeup headbands. And then here, um, these actually have pants put with them, so that's why she has a lot more shirts here. These are actual full outfits put together, and then her hoodies. So, um, she can just grab an outfit and put it in the little cubby. It's not, I have to think about what am I going to put with it. And then, as far as wall decor goes, she has her calendar with her bows hanging. She has a trash can beside her bed with her pillow and two um, things she sleeps with. She has a dirty clothes hamper at the bottom of the bed. On the wall over here, she has her first communion things from church. And then just a bag hanging with random stuff in it. Um, 
this is a toy box that really doesn't have much in it. The things on top of it will probably end up going in it or we will get rid of this. Depends on what we do with her room decor. She has a soccer ball that she actually uses at practice right now, her iPad, and she's into the typewriter thing. She's into writing. And then she has a trash can beside her typewriter for mistakes and things. She has her chair that she sits in, her American Girl doll case, and her um, main luggage that she takes when she goes out, which we're going to be out of town this weekend, her humidifier, and her nightstand. I did not go through and clean out her nightstand. It's probably not in that bad of shape. She just keeps some random little things on here. Um, in this drawer is money, belts, speaker for her iPod, um, picture of her from First Communion, her drill team belt buckle that she won, knitting or crocheting needles, the book she's reading at the moment. That's just, that's her space. I don't, didn't want to go through and completely get rid of everything. And then down here is just another makeup box. A um, few sh clothes actually that I need to get out of there that are winter, that are summer. Um, her art box is here. And just some little books and notebooks and things. So that's just her area. I'm not going to climb under the bed and show you. But I put her American Girl dolls are in a bin under there. And then there's another bin under there with her baby doll clothes. For baby dolls that she, she only has one. But And then she has this big sign with her and her horse's name. And that's a painting that she did. This is broke so it's fixing to come down. Um, and then this cabinet here above her dresser. I did not get a chance to go through yet. Um, well, I'm not going to have to. It's empty pretty much. So, um, I may end up moving her blankets over here. And then that can leave room for other things to go. But, um, that is her room. It may change. It usually does. Um, sporadically we change up the girl's room whenever they ask for it. Which is usually two or three times a year. So, this is just kind of a quick little overview. It it did take a while, but it was a really dirty room. Um, it has not had not been cleaned in a while, even though she had been towed to. And there is still some stains on the floor from, like, I think that's nail polish, actually. So, um, there's a look at it. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it gives you motivation to either clean your room, daughter's room, clean your room, or help your daughter or son clean their room. I will probably show you a cleaning of my son's room or may not be a cleaning of his room. It may just be how he organizes it because he's very particular about who goes into his room. So I hope you guys have a good day. If you like this video, click the subscribe button down below so you'll be notified of any videos that I post and see you next time.